Alright, go ahead. Alright, so Exodus 3, 13 through 15, and John 13, 18 through 20. Proof that Jesus and God are one. Proof that you cannot know God until you know and believe in Jesus. Which means if what you're believing doesn't mention the truth about Jesus and who he actually was, then the God you serve is a falsehood and Satan is behind the curtain. Do not be deceived into ruin. To be saved, believe in your heart about who Jesus said he was. Repent in your heart. The definition of biblical repentance states that... Well, all right. So repentance doesn't have you any have emotion. Have so close. You don't huh? have to have it so close. All right. There you go. So repentance has nothing to do with emotion. It is a realization, an absolute awareness or acknowledgement of yeah, our fallen nature. And degradation from our birthright you as popcorn, God's children. Man. <laughs> this is the start, the beginning of a change. I'm betting there are people who feel like they need to feel something in order to believe that they've changed, but that's not necessarily true. For scriptures say in Romans 10, 9, it says, confess with your mouth. It says never, it never says anything about crying or rolling up with sadness. Confess. It's to speak it and to believe in your hearts. Believe is the acceptance of something that is true or something exists also not an emotion accept jesus christ as your lord and savior to stay saved you are then to turn away from sin daily and persistently to spread the good news and speak the truth about jesus and strive for righteousness this is what it means to take up the cross and follow Jesus. Jesus humbled himself and obeyed his father's decree. He gave up his own will to do his father's will, and we must do the same. Like Mark 8:34. It's not an easy trek. As you can see, people persecute us, mock us, slander us in person or cyberly. People use obscene language towards us, even sign language. Threaten us with lasers. <laughs> what they do. <laughs> All right. Constantly try to silence us with police and other nonsense. People hate us here. There's other men and women of God around the world who has it much worse than we do. They are being in prison and are like lambs to the slaughter. Being executed by denouncing their faith by not denouncing their faith in Jesus. This 14-year-old girl who was abused and abandoned by her family because she loved Jesus and wouldn't deny him even though it cost her her entire family and almost her life. And many more are facing these same trials. And we all know the cost, but we're still going to continue to defend the truth. Even when the world lays us down, our Father will raise us up again. I suggest the, I suggest the world quit while it's behind. Because we will never be silenced by men or the wicked powers that be. What you are witnessing today is men and women standing in the presence of an almighty God. Who shall we fear? Journal Square? McGinley Square? Downtown? Online chat rooms? Goliath? You're right. This is our current reality.